my friends, welcome back to MTD CNC. I got my buddy Tim with me today and we are unveiling some really beautiful technology. So gorgeous in fact, that Tim and I, let's take a step off and let the audience see how beautiful this machine is. Absorb it just a little bit guys. The window, the lights, the software. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right Tim, we've given them a second. Let's get back on screen. Thank you all for joining us Tim. I've kind of highlighted some of the fun parts already but you're the expert here. Here. This is an unveiling, as you two would say, right here, right now. No better place we'd rather be for sure. What are some of the highlights that you would like to amplify today? Well, not only is it a great looking machine, but there's a lot of enhancements for the user. So you can already see the ergonomics, the bigger window that we have on the machine, as well as the layout of the control. So you got a tilt bottom panel of the control, we got a 21 inch screen. Uh, a lot of colors, uh, makes it kind of fun, we're not used to that. Um, but the last time we upgraded our control was probably almost 10 years ago. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So uh, with this upgrade to the control, we've increased a lot of the motion control technologies, which are encoders, motors, drives, acceleration, deceleration, and things like that. The good thing for our user, though, is we're upward compatible. So things that are intuitive to you on the previous control, should be really easy for you to adapt on the newer one. Tim, very much like this conversation and you being intuitive, so is the software because you read my mind. The first thing I was going to ask is you already mentioned 10 years is the fact that what about the folks who, the, the millions of folks that have yeah. invested in Akuma yeah. across the US and the world, yeah. they're still going to be able to understand it and in fact, probably much like a cell phone that continues to update itself, That's right. it's going to be very intuitive, they're going to know the screen, there's nothing that the yeah. folks out there who have Akuma should worry about when investing in the new models, am I correct? That's correct. A lot more horsepower, but the things that you need for an operator to move from machine to machine, know where the keys are, know the process of operation. You don't want that to be a mystery or something that they have to learn additionally. There's, there's obviously a few things on there that we've, we've done to improve the experience, but for the most part, the 80, 90% of the operation remains the same for the user. And I'm sure you've done that strategically because of all the people who are out there who have Akuma machines. That's correct. A few more colors and then some, some benefits to the new uh, model, but overall, it's going to be very easy. Yeah. Is there anything else? I've seen a beautiful part on this table yep. over here, which is being cut inside the machine, which we can see really easily because of the giant window right. as well. That's is right. there anything else about this machine that you would like to highlight in the conversation today? Well, in addition to the hardware side of the control, which makes it faster, are some other user enhancements. So one of those is digital twin. It's a term that you hear a lot in the industry today so that you can take from the office side of your business to the machine and simulate and duplicate and predict what's going to happen. The digital twin side of the P500 is a, is a great enhancement to the control. And then one other is what we call smart operation. Conversational control is what people call that. So we've had iterations of that over the years. Smart operation is our latest and we think the customers are really going to love it. Tim, is it okay if we go a little bit into detail with the smart operation? I yep. personally would love to learn some more. Yep. I know the audience would. We've talked about digital twin uh, a, a lot as an industry, right? This yeah. is something that you had mentioned you had previously, uh, but it's going from one to the other, then back again. So that's the yeah. enhancement of that that's digital right. twin, which we need is necessary. Yep. But let's talk about the smart part. Yep. I like when we get smart. That's right. So the smart part, um, if we talk about conversational programming, this is a lot of times where you want the operator to also be the programmer. So things like, I want to do a turning process, I want to drill and tap. It's, it's little prompts that come to the operator at the control. All they got to do is answer those questions. When they do that, it will create the part program to run the machine. And we've just tried to create that as a real smart operation for the user. Very simplified version. Can you see my face, everyone? I was programming line by line codes 25 yeah, years me too. ago. I could have, so, so was Tim. Yeah. We could have used the, yeah. a simple, are you serious? It's yeah. prompting me to do what I'm That's supposed right. to do? That's right. You know how many times I heard the noise eh, as I cut into something I'm That's not right. supposed to cut into? That's right. This is brilliant technology. It also comes with great cosmetics to go along with it. We're obviously adapting software, but it, we must reiterate, in my opinion, the same reliability that Akuma has always been known for, the That's same correct. service and support that Akuma has always been known for. We just have a bigger window, we have a new inter or upgraded interface, we have smartness, we have a twin. Yeah. This is everything all incorporated, right? That's correct. And not only the machine and all the technology, but even here today, 
at Gasker's place, our distributor network is key to the success as well. So you've got to have people that are able to support the user when they get this new technology in to help them take full advantage of what it can do for them. So just to summarize, we got the sex appeal, which is really the ergonomics, the color that we've added to the machine, even the accent lights on the side. Um, as far as the power, the motion control technology, encoders, drives, motors, I didn't even mention the dual core processor that helps that thing, you know, make parts faster. Uh, the other thing we talked about was digital twin, closing the loop from the office to the machine and back. That's a key part of the new P500. And one other thing we didn't talk about was the Echo Suite. And, Echo uh, Suite? Yeah. Do you see what I did there? Oh, I just I repeat, we made an yeah, Echo. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did it. But there's probably more to an Echo Suite than that, isn't there? Well, the Echo Suite was uh, existing on the P300, but we made enhancements to the P500. And the whole idea behind Echo Suite is that the machine can be smart to save energy. So, for instance, if we're not using the hydraulic unit, it'll shut it down, put it in kind of a sleep mode. Same thing with the lights. So there's a whole lot of automatic uh, power saving that can be done with the machine, but every shop runs a little bit differently. So there's also some usability for the operator to say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some power savings in this area. So, you know, for me, uh, you know, if I'm living in Charlotte, that might not be a big deal. But if I'm in California or some of these cities where power is really expensive, that can be a big deal for a customer. So just a lot of great features for the for the customer to save money, make parts faster, and we hope to have a great experience with our machine tool and control. You could not have said it better, my friend. It is very important to recognize the people who support our brand, right. who are partnerships, and let them know how important they are. Just like everyone who's watching right now, you are important as well. So this is my buddy Tim, this is Akuma, this is the right here, no, I'm not gonna sing to you, but right here, right now, this is the unveiling of this machine. You can see it again in other places, maybe in your shop as well, Tim. Thank you so much, Thank my you. friend, you're always a pleasure. Appreciate it.